In this lecture, let us see about the introduction to trees. So tree is a data structure which can be defined as a set of one or more nodes where one node is designated as the root node and all the remaining nodes can be partitioned into a non-empty set, each of which will form the subtree of the root node. So here, when we look at this figure, the node A can be defined as the root node and the children of node A, node B, node D, node E, all this together will form a subtree of the root node. So the nodes which are present at the left part of the root node, we call it as a, a left subtrees and the nodes which are present on the right part of the tree, we call it as the uh, right subtree. So this is a right subtree. Now let us see few basic uh, terminologies uh, to understand about the tree data structure. So let us consider now this uh, example. So we have here A which is the root node and there are three subtrees T1, T2 and T3. Now let us see first what is mean by a leaf node. So a leaf node is defined as a node with no children. So if a node has no children, then we can call it as a leaf node. So here we can find that the node E, F, J, K, H and I does not have any children and they are called as a leaf node and the other name of leaf node is called as the terminal node. So what is the root node of this tree? The root node is the topmost node of the uh, tree and the topmost uh, node here is A. So topmost node, the node A is called as the root node. And if the root node is null, say that if the root node A is null, then what does it mean is the tree is empty. So when can we tell that the tree is empty is when you have your root node equal to null, then we can define that the tree is empty. Now, what is meant by subtree? So subtree, as I have told, the uh, trees, the children of node A, which is B, C, D, which are forming a subtree. So here there are three subtrees, T1, T2 and T3. Now let us uh, see what is mean by the path. So path means path is a sequence of consecutive edges. You can define it as the path. So here, what is the path A to B? So this edge is called as a path. Now B to E, this is an uh, path. Now B to F, this consecutive edge is called as a uh, path. So the sequence of consecutive edges, you can define it as the path. Now let us see what is mean by ancestor nodes. So here, uh, who is called as the ancestor is the ancestor node is any predecessor node on the path from the root to the um, a node. So A here, the node A is, is the ancestor node for node B, C and D. Okay. So say that for node K. So for node K, who is called as the ancestor? So it is node G, C and E. Okay. So node for node K, who is called as the ancestor? No G, C and E. Fine. Hope you can uh, understand now who is called as the ancestor node. Now, you can try out for node I. So, when we try for node I, who is called as the ancestor nodes? The D and A are called as the ancestor nodes. Okay. Fine. Now, wh what does mean by the descendant node? Descendant nodes are any successor uh, nodes. So successor nodes on the path from the um, a node to the leaf node, you call it as the uh, descendant nodes. So here let us uh, take one example of uh, descendant node for node A. So what is the descendant node for node A? So for node A, the descendant node is any successor node. So C is a successor, successor node on its path from the node to a leaf, right? So who are the uh, descendant nodes for node A? It is uh, C, C, G and J along with 
the note k okay so this note a has got the dissonance uh, c g j and k fine so this is how you find the dissonant note so dissonant note is any successor note on any path from the note to the leaf okay so note to a leaf note it is a successor note now let us see the level number of a tree so every node in a tree will be assigned with the level number so the level number of the root node here the node a is going to be zero okay and uh, now does every node at one a level higher than its parent okay uh, will be having a level plus one right child nodes will have a level number given by the parents level number plus one okay so all the child nodes will have the uh, level number given by the parents level number plus one plus one okay fine now what does mean by the degree of any node so what do you call as a degree of a node so degree of a node can be uh, defined as a number of children that the node has okay so say it's a number of children that the node has so say consider this node d for node d how many children does the node d has it has children h and i so the number of children that the node d has is two okay so the degree of node d is going to be two now what will be the degree of all the leaf nodes so the degree of the leaf nodes is going to be zero always because the leaf nodes does not have any children fine now see how to define the height of the tree so the height of the tree is uh, otherwise called as the depth okay so this is a maximum uh, distance between the root okay the height of the tree can be defined as the maximum distance between the root node of the tree and the leaf node of the tree okay so it can be defined as a number of edges from the root node to the leaf node okay so the root node will be at level 0 okay and if there is only one node then the height of the root node is going to be 0 okay the height of the root node is going to be 0 now the height of the tree will be what 3 okay because it has got three edges that's a maximum uh, depth or the maximum distance between the root node of the tree and the leaf node of the tree so the height of this tree is 3 understood the uh, various basic terminologies of the uh, tree data structure